Good afternoon and welcome to our webinar, New Trends in Skin Care and Facial Rejuvenation. I'm Dr. Robert Whitfield. I'm a board certified plastic surgeon in private practice in Austin, Texas. I'm also the current president of the Research Foundation of the Aesthetic Society, uh, as do many other providers of wellness, skin care, and plastic surgery. We have multiple skin care lines in our office and our spas. Um, in my specific location in Austin, Texas, I have Elastin. Elastin is part of my Club W membership program, so it drop ships like an Amazon model. We have Osmosis MD, another medical grade uh, skincare line. We have uh, Skin Medica going live in the next 24 hours in a drop ship model. There'll be a link to that on my website. We'll discuss at the end of the presentation. We also have Eminence and uh, Revive Lash, specific to lashes and brows. I get often uh, uh, remarks about uh, why we have certain lines or, or questions regarding why we use certain lines of different types of uh, products. Basically, each of these lines offers the basic skincare, and so any of them uh, will fit a wide variety of needs of daily maintenance skincare. Each of them will have specific products that offer solutions to your specific problems. Uh, some uh, will prefer one product over another for how it uh, affects their skin. Um, for, for daily care, uh, uh, these are all good lines. For preparation for a procedure, I prefer to use Elastin Skin Care. Elastin has a particular product called Rejuvenating skin nectar. Um, we'll discuss that more specifically because that's what I like to use prior to your procedure. Once again, Elastin has all the basic products, but then the uh, product that's unique to procedures that I like to use is Elastin Rejuvenating Skin Nectar. Uh, it's referred to as RSN or just uh, nectar. So why do we use it? Why did I choose this to be used? Um, I spent about a year trying to figure out which lines I would carry, which would be the primary line, how would I use them in conjunction with daily care and procedures. Um, I settled on Elastin as our uh, go-to prior to your procedure. Uh, I spoke at length to the chief medical officer at Elastin, who is a plastic surgeon, uh, discuss the studies they had done, and these are skin biopsies taken uh, before and after treatment with elastin. And it shows that in as little as two to three weeks of preparation with elastin, you get an increase in new collagen formation, as well as elastin production. So why is that important? Well, as we age, our collagen becomes damaged. This may be to uh, sun, uh, the effects of aging, our personal genetics, and we lose elasticity because we lose elastin and we don't produce enough elastin. <clears throat> so, elastin skin care, uh, specifically rejuvenating skin nectar, is a product that with two to three weeks of use will help improve this. Why is this important? Well, if we're going to get anyone prepared for a facial treatment where we're going to um, either perform a treatment with microneedling, face tights, um, surgery, anything invasive, we want the skin in the best condition possible and this is a way to prepare the skin. We'll discuss how this works. Here's a nice cartoon. This essentially works by the, you can see in this image, these little Pac-Men. The Pac-Men uh, in this cartoon are the ones that eat up the bad collagen. The bad collagen is then digested and removed from the skin, improving the you know, texture and contour. Um, how does this all work? Well, the rejuvenating skin nectar triggers the MMPs, which in this image are the little Pac-Men, and these MMPs, which are of multiple types, there's just type 1, type 8, type 13. These all break down the old bad collagen and help remove it. 
So once this is uh, performed, then the macrophages, which are like the little garbage bin, they take everything out of the skin and, and, and get you ready for improvement in your, in your skin tone texture um, from the procedure. So this is a, a number of products, uh, uh, plus a preparatory product. This is all, you know, potentially gets very expensive very quickly. So we've developed ways to make this more affordable for our clients. Uh, the specific way we do this is through our aesthetic membership offering. It's called Club W. And it works essentially, it's an aesthetic subscription service. So... What does that mean? There's no fee to become a member. Once again, it's a subscription service. It includes our last in skin care. It includes neuromodulators like Botox Dysport. It includes Restylane uh, family of fillers and Juvederm family of fillers. It includes IPL, which you know, is synonymous with photofacials for uh, removing red and brown spots from uh, sun damage. There are other services like microneedling involved instead of essentially paying for the entire amount at checkout, um, there are discounts uh, applied to uh, members. The, the members typically get uh, a 20 to 40% discount based on the product or treatment service being provided. So we'll run through a couple of examples. Don't hold me to all my math. My staff, uh, my team, will We'll take care of this uh, for you at checkout. So typically, cleanser, moisturizer, retinol, and sunscreen would be about $200 in a uh, Elastin uh, skincare package for a non-member. Uh, uh, for a Club W member, it'd be essentially $160 at checkout. If you didn't want to pay it all at checkout, it's just three installments of uh, $53.33 for skincare. If you wanted to add a neurotoxin like Botox, Similarly, it would still be uh, three payments of fifty-three thirty-three for your skincare, but you'd have to add uh, four months of uh, payments of uh, forty-five to cover the cost of the Botox. Uh, of course, once again, the Club W member gets twenty percent off the um, skincare, and then for for uh, Club W members, Botox is essentially nine dollars instead of eleven dollars per unit. Um, we can run through another example. In this example, uh, we're adding lip filler. So that all totaled would be 880 at checkouts. Um, for the Club W member, that would be 704 at checkouts. If um, you you looked at essentially the neuromodulator, it'd be $76 a month uh, for four months. The skincare is before 53, 33, and then uh, the filler is just uh, 12 months of $41 and 66 cents. Um, once again, you're just spreading that over the lifetime of the product. So these are ways that we make things more affordable for our clients on a day-to-day -day basis for their skincare needs. If they want neuromodulator or lip filler, IPL, um, a host of other services, in, in, including our microneedling services. So. Let's transition now to what, what is new in facial rejuvenation. And we're going to use a case example and then discuss what's new and what's available and what I decided to use to help uh, this particular client. So the case is going to be a 69-year-old woman. Um, she came, uh, she had concerns about aging. Um, she wanted non-surgical options. Her number one concern was her neck. On her uh, medical history, she had no medical problems. Uh, she was taking no medications. She had had no uh, other neck treatments or surgery uh, of the uh, face or neck. Here's her uh, frontal image and uh, essentially what you need to be uh, acutely aware of in any um, kind of facial rejuvenation or neck rejuvenation procedure is what's going on beneath the skin are tissues uh, lax beneath the skin? Are there uh, other abnormalities? And in a particular band is sitting here in the front. This essentially is causing the skin to tense away. So what's causing? 
So the platysma is this large, flat muscle. It runs from uh, the border of our jaw down across our neck, over our collarbone, and then rests on the upper chest. The division is right down the midline, and that edge is what you see protruding in her neck. Now that is something I cannot correct with pure skin tightening. So I instruct every client that I cannot correct that. The options to uh, help relax that are using Botox or Dysport as a neuromodulator to weaken the muscle across that area and get it to relax. And that does prove effective. It just has to be repeated, similar to what we discussed with lines and wrinkles of the face that you want relaxed. So more importantly, this is, this is a major issue for her, is our profile picture. She's very uncomfortable with her neck and jowl area. So she asked me, like, you know, what options do we have to, you know, really take care of the lower portion of my face, my jawline, my neck? And once again, I, I said, you know, and I point out clearly, I could not take care of these bands. And on your profile, that's really affecting your image and so um, I point out that yes you want the neck uh, tissue tucked up but there's this band in the way we want the jowl to move up away back where it came from towards the you know the ear and, and the uh, upper cheek area and then we just want all this tissue to globally move and so you know if someone came 10 years ago and said, hey, I have this problem, Dr. Whitfield, what can you do about it? I would have said, well, we have a facelift and um, that's about it. We don't have anything that I'm confident in. Um, and then I would lose uh, those clients because many of them were concerned about having facial uh, surgery, couldn't afford the downtime, didn't want the scarring. Fast forward now, 2020, we have all these new options. We have incredible skincare options like we discussed earlier with Elasta and Osmosis, Skin, Meta, Skin Medica, Eminence. Um, we have non-invasive options we haven't discussed, which are Forma, which are not appropriate for this client or her level of skin laxity. We have minimally invasive options. These range from microneedling with RF, and there's different types. There's Fractura, there's Morpheus 8, we'll discuss in just a minute. And there's more. Uh, options that include treatment both uh, above and below the skin. These are Acutype, face type, body type. And then obviously there's always surgery for facial rejuvenation with brow lift, eyelid lift, face lift, neck lift, cheek lifts. All these things can still be performed. So she wants a uh, non-surgical option. So that, that kind of leaves us to skin care. Um, I've already said that her non-invasive options aren't going to affect change the way she needs it. So it leaves us with skincare and something minimally invasive. So the best way these days is to combine those modalities using skincare, microneedling with radio frequency. And in this instance, we're going to add face tight. Uh, once I said, uh, you know, I, I chose Elastin because preparation for one of these procedures, this is uh, the product I chose because it has this flexibility to increase collagen and elastin production prior to procedure. So we use uh, the rejuvenating skin nectar two weeks to, uh, prior to procedure, um, uh, one pump twice a day. And then obviously uh, at the time of procedure when we're doing our microneedling, we'll uh, apply it afterwards to get it directly down into the dermis. And then the patient is supposed to go ahead and apply this over the next um, few weeks while the supply lasts and then transition to different products. We'll discuss that as well. Other products are not supposed to be used uh, after the procedure because the skin will be open and really susceptible to uh, some of the harmful preservatives and other products. That's why we stick to the elastin regenerating skin nectar. So we're going to combine techniques. So we're going to use Morpheus 8, which is a specific microneedling system. I have uh, was the first one in Austin to have. It's a very interesting microneedling system because its range of small needles goes from one to four millimeters. So out of the tip of the device, the, the needles will project. You just set the depth and then the energy on the machine itself. We'll watch a quick video. Actually, my friend, uh, Dr. DiBernardo did this video. So it just gives you a little uh, sense of 
how it works and what it's used for. So we'll just listen to this really uh, quickly. This is Morpheus 8. This is a array of small little needles that apply radio frequency energy just under the skin. So this is the Morpheus 8 is adding another dimension of superficial tightening to the area. It's especially good in patients who have surface irregularities. For example, in her case, she has this deep crease from just the crease between the large fat that was there. And we're going to remodel that on the surface with this and enhance the surface contour. Uh, for patients who are a little older and have wrinkled skin in the area. Also, that's more superficial than what we're treating with the embrace. Uh, this adds a combined tightening to those areas to have the surface look good as well. So vary the penetration of this so we can make it deeper. So in her, she has areas that have thicker skin. So I'm going to go deeper in the, those areas because I can control the depth. Those areas that are deeper are the area of the angle of the jawline. So I'm going to... We have now completed the Morpheus 8 procedure. And now is the treatment. So many will ask, well, if, if microneedling is uh, such a great tool, why don't you use it as a standalone uh, technique? I, I get asked that frequently, and the reply is, well, here's a before and after of microneedling. You can see the visible change in the depth of the lines, but in areas where you want to get a large movement or greater movement of tissue, microneedling will not be enough to accomplish most patients' stated goals, especially if they are more advanced in age or have more facial aging or more skin laxity. So what do we do in this case um, or in cases like that? Well, we have to add an additional modality, and that's when we add face tight. Now, the combination of Morpheus, Morpheus AIDS and face tight is the branded procedure Embrace RF. Um, interestingly enough, um, I had had face tight for a period of time and another microneedling system prior to the launch of Embrace RF. So I was essentially the first person in Austin to be able to do Embrace RF because I had Morpheus A prior to anyone else having it. It's been a great tool for us. Uh, face tight is an, uh, a really 
uh, advanced tool in terms of what it can offer because one portion of it goes below the skin and this slide the small probe is beneath the skin and then the larger probe is above the skin and so this works by almost like think of like your your tweezers so everything is happening between the tips of the tweezers when you activate them to pluck a brow or do something else then um, you control it so I control the face type tr probe by activating it and then gliding it along these tissues and um, in areas where I want um, tightening I can stamp or I can gently apply pressure just like on uh, pressure along tweezers and glide it along the tissue and so in this cartoon images there's little vines it looks like within the fat and that's the fibroceptal network and once the heat's applied to this area in this network the fat remodels and this tissue tightens and that's really the crux of the uh, video you're about to watch it's another cartoon like video so it just shows the gliding along the tissues of the face type So this is the probe itself. It's actually relatively small in nature. It does have, so now we've described, you know, our patient, her stated goals. We figured out the modalities we're gonna use. We're gonna use elastin skin care. We're gonna use um, a combination of face tight and Morpheus aid, which is essentially how uh, the brand procedure Embrace RF came about. We're gonna do this in the office under local anesthesia. So for all office-based procedures, if folks want to just come on their own, that's absolutely fine. We can do this under straight local with the adjunct of Pronox in the office, which is just nitrous oxide like you get in a dental office, except for ours is in a 50-50 mixture. Um, there's no ill effects after that. You can drive after that. If someone's really anxious or wants or uh, desires more, um, you can get oral medications like uh, uh, a small amount of volume. In this instance, you do need someone to drive you home. Um, this this whole uh, kind of design is to make it as simple to do on your own as possible. I have a lot of people um, in our area who will come and have the procedure done and then just drive themselves back uh, without any limitations. So this is a nice out uh, office-based procedure. So let's go over just a few before and afters. One, we're going to use uh, a very famous Italian surgeon, uh, Dr. Robotti. He's um, done the most, I believe, in Europe, and his uh, before and afters is shown for enough length. Lately. And then we'll discuss our case and go over the before and afters. Here you can see, um, and you just got to follow the, the blemishes on the skin to know the lifting. So here we have a very, very good neck and jowl lift. You can see the change in the, uh, the skin at the, uh, just under the chin and then along the border of the jaw. So this is a great example of the power of lifting with this device. Now, this is all done with no incisions other than a two millimeter poke hole, which is about the size of the tip of a pencil or a pen. This is all done in the office under local as an outpatient. So we're going to go back to our lady and discuss, if you remember, everything she was concerned about. So this is our patient done at our office in Westlake Hills. So essentially, she was very, very concerned about 
her neck beneath the chin, trying to get that to tap up, trying to get the collar, I'm sorry, the, um, the, the tissue to move as well as her, her jawline to improve. So I would just ask you to look at the, the jowl and the position of the, um, the blemish as well as her neck contour and her neckline. So the neckline is improved. It's more acute versus obtuse. It's tucked up. Her jowl has lifted. These are all obvious visual changes. So, you know, goals were to improve the neck both beneath the chin, along the base of the neck, and elevate the jowl. All those uh, goals that were stated have been met. We've done this in a office-based outpatient setting under local anesthesia. She left on her own and drove herself home. So, in summary, we've discussed skin care and how I change from a daily to a prep for a procedure with elastic rejuvenating skin nectar as our product of choice. We discussed, um, she's not really a candidate for non-invasive. We do have non-invasives like Forma, but for her and her level of facial aging, that was not going to be uh, enough. So the minimally invasive options we have, like Fractura, Morpheus 8, Accutite, Face Tight, Body Tight, all of these are available to us. So I chose to combine skin care with the last rejuvenating skin nectar with my minimally invasive options. And in this instance, we chose a combination of Face Tight and Morpheus 8 to perform Embrace RF. Although surgery is still the gold standard, I have fewer and fewer clients uh, requesting face lifting procedures either because of downtime costs uh, or they've taken care of someone and, and didn't want to have a similar um, recovery period. Right. So, you know, in conclusions, uh, what can we figure out, you know, from what we've discussed? So, nutrients and skin care. We have lots of skin care options. We have options now that will uh, just help repair the skin uh, like have never existed before with a product like Elastin. It's a good preparatory product for procedures. It's a good daily maintenance product. Um, we can do, you know, skin tightening and lifting in the office. We can do it under local. We can do it with a combination of minimally invasive techniques. Uh, it's powerful. It'll give us visible change. Now, uh, both before and after this, uh, skin care is mandatory. And uh, once completion of the skincare with our regimen for the procedure is complete, you can go back to your, your maintenance skincare. Maintenance skincare uh, in our office consists of whether it's Elastin, Osmosis, Eminence, Skin Medica, um, or if you have a particular line uh, you're comfortable with, we'll continue that for you as well. Maintenance. Everybody wants to know how long this lasts. Well, everybody's aging. None of these products uh, or treatments are going to stop facial aging. Our goal is to, you know, create a desired effect and then maintain it. And so maintenance is specific to each client. I like to do microneedling uh, for maintenance, either on a semi-annual uh, basis or an annual basis. I think these are all uh, incredibly powerful ways to go ahead and maintain a result. Um, I want to thank everybody for joining us for our, our webinar, Nutrients and Skin Care and facial rejuvenation. Um, everybody who was able to register and attend the webinar gets a free virtual console using our Simplast for patient application. It's HIPAA compliant. We're gonna give treatment discounts of up to 20% of those who are qualified after consultation. It's uh, free to become a Club W member. Uh, if you want to prepay and receive 20% off Elastin, we can do that for you as well. Uh, purchase of Skin Medica Care products is uh, going to be available. It's going to be 30% off MSRP from our website over the next 24 to 48 hours. And then we have a special offer. If you want to prepay for one cc of Juvederm Family Filler products, you will receive 2,000 brilliant distinct uh, distinction points. These are redeemable only in our practice. They can't be used elsewhere. So you'd have to, to come in and, and use those in our office. Um, I want to thank everybody for joining the webinar. If you're interested in any of these offers, um, please feel free to email brett at drrobertwhitfield.com. We will be emailing out a, a list of all of our offers. Thank you for joining us.
skin uh, along the jawline. Here it goes beneath the skin, and as I mentioned, you activate it, apply pressure, and you'll heat the tissues and tighten the tissues, remodeling the fat as well. There are temperature settings that have to be reached, and there's a temperature sensor in each of the components at the tip, external and internal temperatures. Here, demonstration is it's heating the fat so it can remodel, and it's tightening the fiber septal network. So instead of being lax, it becomes tighter. Once again, this is all in combination with our elastin rejuvenating skin nectar preparation. We want to clean out the bad collagen and then tighten and improve the uh, existing collagen, as well as have deposition of new collagen and elastin. Okay, video. This is Morpheus 8. This is a array of small little needles that apply radio frequency energy just under the skin. So this is the Morpheus 8 is adding another dimension of superficial tightening to the area. It's especially good in patients who have surface irregularities. For example, in her case, she has this deep crease from just the crease between the large fat that was there, and you're going to remodel that on the surface with this and enhance the surface contour uh, for patients who are a little older and have wrinkled skin in the area also that's more superficial than what we're treating with the embrace uh, this adds a combined tightening to those areas to have the surface look good as well So vary the penetration of this so we can make it deeper. So in her, she has areas that have thicker skin. So I'm going to go deeper in the, those areas because I can control the depth. Those areas that are deeper are the area of the angle of the jawline. So I'm going Thank you.